Hi everyone, my name is Brenda and I'm from Pitchin. So welcome to our Get to Know the Founders session where we would like the investors, such as yourself, to know more about our issuers and their stories. We will spend about 10 minutes speaking to the founders of these companies and we will ask them about 8 to 10 questions about themselves and the company. So after that, we will wrap up the session with a set of rapid fire questions where they will choose between two options, this or that. So today we are sitting down with Chris to get to know more about Klopp. Klopp is a platform that combines both hotel and residential rental options with monthly, daily and hourly bookings. So they are currently pre-live on Pitchin and they aim to raise 500,000 ringgit on Pitchin with this campaign. So without any further ado, I would like to welcome Chris to so get to know the founder session today. Welcome Chris. Good day everyone. Would you like to start with a quick introduction? Hi, my name is Chris Judd. I'm a uh, founder of Club. Hi, nice to meet you all. So uh, let me talk about something about Club. Uh, I mean, the story behind my company and how why I started. So uh, I have been in hospitality line for more than five years. And it's actually start from the inspiration throughout my work trip at time. And my purpose is to build a small but yet quality in terms of interior design and touch and feel a rich boutique style experience state hotel. Yes, from the time being that three of my hotels proven is one of those uh, sophisticated, good experience and design environment hotels where you can read through all our review from all the social media. Lah. All right. So what drive me further that I want to build club is not just because of the COVID-19, but it's true that this pandemic has affected hospitality line drop dramatically or even bankruptcy. So I want to build an ecosystem where I can link up landlord, hotelers and users together to achieve their goals and to satisfy their needs. So with Club Bond to serve the local community and to ensure the stability of hospitality industry, we are not just providing daily stays but hourly and monthly which would greatly support them. So something very interesting uh, to share here, all hotelers who are participated in mainstream OTS such like uh, Agoda, Booking.com and Airbnb, they are actually competitors among themselves. With the review system provided nowadays, users always choose the best and only the better choices will be filtered in terms of pricing, service experience being shared among the users. However, with Club provided the flexibility of hourly and especially the monthly stay user, let's say uh, Romeo, all right? Romeo, he bought a monthly package through Club apps and he might be the one who get to sign in and introduce by Hotel A in Trang Valley, all right? So eventually, he spent and shared his monthly package by staying in different hotel according to his schedule. Okay, so in such scenarios, hotelers in club apps are actually like profit sharing. They are not sharing the profit only, but resources and data as well. So this is somehow like a big hospitality platform whereby no matter a single hotel to join, but you will perform like a group or like a hotel chain. However, with variety of period stay where can actually neutralize the peak and the non-peak season in hotel line. I give another sample. So I believe everyone might uh, heard that before during the peak season or even the non-peak season, they still have plenty of the vacant rooms available for the hotels. So as we know, an empty room or vacant room actually is the costing because we use to calculate how much cost per room in order to break even or sometimes how to generate the more sales by selling how much for those hotel rooms. So, why don't you let go for an hourly and monthly stay? This is something I would like to emphasize. There's a huge market and needs long, long time ever since the hospitality industry started and began. All right? Mm -hmm. There's none of the mainstream player, not even a single service provider starting to provide such kind of service in variety of period state. That's mm -hmm. why I started Club. 
a follow-up question I have is you mentioned you were in the hospitality industry for 15 years, right? Yeah. So, um, can you tell us a little bit more about your uh, history r- before Running Club? Before I'm Running Club, I have been in advertising industry for three years and project management business for more than 15 years. Wow. And before Club, I started actually own three hotels where has been operated for the past five years. What is a typical day for you at the company? You know, like, do you wake up, brush your teeth first, grab your coffee? What is it like? <laughs> well, I would get all sorts of the update from my team mm-hmm. and to have a meeting from time to time uh, to set our target SOP mission to go and achieve. Mm-hmm. Having a analysis and study from all the data and uh, response or review mm-hmm. and providing solution, you know, suggestions to my team to expedite mm-hmm. out what we want to achieve, where eventually to benefit all our hotelers and users. So how do you balance clock and, you know, I think the three hotels that you mentioned? Actually, from the typical hotel business, there's an operation team. So I have mm-hmm. a reservation operation team to uh, manage according to the mm-hmm. SOP. So yes. uh, normally we will have a monthly meeting. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, they will give a report and anything. Of course, if anything urgent, they will uh, voice up in the WhatsApp group so that I will yep. discuss further with them. But for club, because it's new beginning, at least once or two, we uh, two times a meeting in a week. That's yep. why there's a lot of new things to be happening. So they need to keep on to update me. Then yes. then we will discuss further. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. different hoteler they will have different requirement, the different situation, and what is their mm-hmm. issue in that area. So that's why we will analysis and we will let you let them know, you know, who wants to join club, then how we can improve to help them to 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 generate more sales and all that. So, what would you say is the most gratifying thing about running the company? To have a bunch of uh, enthusiasm team members, mm-hmm. and uh, together we build something uh, interesting where mm-hmm. we probably seen it could be a trend from now mm-hmm. on to serve the uh, hospitality industry yeah. uh, to fulfill the supply and needs with uh, user-friendly, mm-hmm. uh, convenient and innovative application tech platform. In contrast to that, uh, what would you say are some yeah. of the challenges that keep you up at night? <laughs> As for now, even you are good at the beginning with something unique but we have to speed up by spreading to the market ASAP uh, as soon as possible to let the hotelers and the user to join this cloud platform. Yeah. So that's why I choose to do crowdfunding at the mm-hmm. beginning stage right now. So I believe with the investors fund and also the pitch in support, we can go even faster to achieve our goals. I have another question for you. Um, is there anyone out there that you particularly look up to? Richard Branson. You know mm-hmm. Richard Branson? Yes. So, yeah, he's a famous guy. Uh, he's the founder of Virgin Group. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm impressed by his word, something like uh, he's saying, you don't learn to walk by following rules, mm-hmm. but uh, you learn by doing and following over. So, I believe everyone should fall in over like, themselves to do something. Like myself, I, I used to very enthusiastic about doing something. Like now the way I'm building club. So there's a lot of challenge to always failure, concern, but that's normal, I believe. I would say, so we, we used to get used to it and never mm-hmm. forget. And most important to enjoy every moment in your life uh, together we can achieve what we want. Mm-hmm. Like I say, there's no one giant step that does it. It's a lot of little steps. You have to get it. Yeah. 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 So I have the last question for you. Uh, yeah. We're gonna bring it back to the company. So, what is your aspiration and vision for the company? I want to build the largest platform, like what we say in the pitch deck in Southeast Asia, uh, mm-hmm. to serve as many as a user we can. But most important is to make club becoming the most user-friendly and mm-hmm. flexible apps where it could serve them no matter with leisure or business purpose uh, in variety of period state. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
that's why uh, our headline club your own state all right wow thank you so much chris uh that's all i have for the questions so i hope you enjoyed that uh so what we're going to do next is we're going to play this thing called rapid fire questions i will give you two options and then you just okay. tell me what it is at the top of your head so don't think about it too much there's no right yeah. or wrong uh yeah. we just want to know what you think just have fun yeah just have fun yeah okay okay so first question uh, i think it's quite simple uh coffee or tea tea Okay. All right. Uh, work from home or work from office? Home. Okay, work from home. So when you go on holidays, do you prefer going to the sea or do you prefer going to the mountains? Mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you prefer city or countryside? Countryside, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and then last question, uh, Google Drive or Microsoft Teams? Google Drive. Mm, okay, thank you so much, Chris. So <laughs> that is really all I have for you for the rapid fire questions. I hope you had Thanks. fun. Before we end the video, we do want to get a final message from you and Klopp uh, to your potential investors. You know, what is the one key takeaway you want them to know from this? We suffer a lot for the past <laughs> two years of time. The the whole world, the, the entire society, there's many of the business segment change the way it really changed. So uh, last time, uh, so if something you see is very unique or is very good enough or what, right? But with this pandemic coming, right? I think this is the uh, a testing, a good test for them to check whether are they able to survive again with this round. Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, what the mainstream OTA doing right now, they think that uh, they are really the best they serve a lot, you know, uh, but something uh, they might, they cannot change. I would say they cannot change. Something cannot change, not just because uh, you are so good or what, but it's something you, maybe you choose to ignore. So that's why I will say, uh, learn to pick up those little things that people ignore or forget. Actually, mm -hmm. from there, it's a very good opportunity and uh, times for you to uh, pick up and then to start to do something. That's why uh, I believe Klopp. And I believe mm -hmm. that uh, this is something I would like to tell the investor. Uh, Klopp is one is the only one in Malaysia that we started right now. So mm -hmm. it will definitely will go further and further. So I hope you guys can really see the future value for what we're doing right now and we are starting to do it. So join us, yeah, so we can go together. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. That was so lovely. So um, let me just wrap this up, right? So yeah. to those of you who are watching, uh, please find their campaign page on our website, www.equity.pitching.my. So you can post any of the questions that you might have for Chris over there in the Q&A section. So thank you so much for joining us for our Get to Know the Founder session, everybody. We will see you next time.